Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is health insurance medical policy, otherwise known as you have health insurance, but, and medical policy is all the things that your health insurance will not pay for that are healthcare related. That's right. Most people don't realize the vast extent of things that your health insurance will not pay for. All of those things are outlined in what is referred to as medical policy. So one particular health insurance company defines medical policy as a plan document that supports coverage decisions. Is your health insurance going to cover it or not? And that decision of whether they're going to cover it or not is based on medical necessity. Does your health insurance company think it's medically necessary? This has nothing to do with your doctor thinks it's medically necessary or not. This is just if the health insurance company thinks it's medically necessary and therefore is willing to pay for it. Now, keep in mind, medical policy is completely different than the entire process of prior authorization. So everything that we are going to talk about here, like, is completely separate from prior authorization. So let's like, you know, hey, you know, I need to have, you know, knee surgery it requires prior authorization, or hey, I need to have an MRI that requires prior authorizations. Like, this is not that. This is just Will the health insurance company cover it at all? Prior authorization or not? Okay, so it's different. Medical policy, not standardized. It's different for every single health insurance company. United, Aetna, Cigna, the various Blue Cross plans, they all have different medical policies. Now, specifically at United Healthcare, how, how extensive is this medical policy? At United Healthcare, there are 259 different medical policies. How do I know? I went through the, the United website and I counted every single one of them. They're not enumerated, so I had to count them individually. There are 259 different areas of healthcare that United has specific rules about what they will and will not cover. Now, we're going to go over one of them because I think an example is helpful, specifically for obstetrical ultrasounds, right? Having a baby is the number one reason for hospitalization in America. Uh, Almost everybody is very familiar with having an ultrasound when a woman is pregnant. Now, sometimes it's referred to as obstetrical ultrasound, sometimes it's called maternity ultrasounds. Okay, so what's the medical policy for United? At United, they allow one ultrasound per trimester. So you get three. You can't get two in the first trimester, one in the second, zero in the third. No, it's one, you're allowed one per trimester. Unless the uh, it is a high-risk pregnancy. Now, the United Medical Policy does not go on to further define what a high-risk pregnancy is, but it just says, well, if you have a high-risk pregnancy, then you can have more. And that's it. Next up, Aetna says, okay, Aetna says just that if there's a valid medical indication, then we'll cover an ultra, uh, 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 obstetric ultrasound. Okay, but, so it doesn't say one per trimester, it just says there has to be a valid medical reasons. But, there are 12 valid indications in the first trimester, so uh, you have to meet one of those 12, and then there, in the second and the third trimester, it has to meet one of 27. Okay, so there are very specific indications that are different for the first trimester versus the second and third trimester, and you gotta meet one of those in order to have your ultrasound covered. Okay, next let's move on to Empire Blue Cross Blue Shield. And I picked them because that's a subsidiary of what used to be called Anthem and is now Elevance. Okay, so again, they'll say, it's totally different than the United approach, which is totally different than the Yemen approach. Uh, Empire Blue Cross Blue Shield says, look, it is a, a, a maternity ultrasound is considered medically necessary if it meets one of 38 indications. Okay, so it doesn't make a distinction between indications for first trimester versus second or third trimester like Aetna does. It doesn't say, okay, well, you only get one per trimester like United does. It just says, look, you, you just have to meet one of 38 indications at any point during your pregnancy and your ultrasound will be covered. Okay, fine. Cigna, again, totally different than United, totally different than Aetna, totally different from Blue Cross, who are all also totally different from each other. Cigna says you only get two for your entire pregnancy. Those two, in order to get one in your first trimester, you have to meet one of 12 indications. In order to get just one in your second or third trimester, you have to meet one of 27 indications. Okay, now, guess what that's called? It's complicated, and that's just one 
of 259 medical policies for things relating to specific medications, to things like aortic valve replacements, you name it, there's a medical policy about it. Now, here's the specific problem as it relates to obstetrical ultrasounds. What if your doctor completely disagrees with these medical policies? Let me give you an example of that. At UT Southwestern, major medical center here in the Dallas, Texas area, their OBGYN website says that their practice, their UT Southwestern practice, does three to four ultrasounds in the, uh, excuse me, does three, does an, uh, an ultrasound every three to four weeks in the third trimester alone. Okay, so the third trimester is between weeks 20, about 27, 28 to 40. So if you're getting an ultrasound every three to four weeks over the course of that 12 weeks, that means a woman is getting three to four ultrasounds in just the third trimester alone for a completely normal risk pregnancy. So UT Southwestern's OBGYN practice is completely different than the medical policy for these health insurance companies. So just know that if you're going to have a baby at UT Southwestern, like your, your ultrasounds are, many of your ultrasounds are not going to be covered. And guess what? I bet you there are many OBGYN practices in America that are very similar to UT Southwestern. I don't think the OBGYNs at UT Southwestern are like crazy with their ultrasounds. Like I'm sure it's very clinically reasonable what they're doing. And oh, by the way, the UT Southwestern website even says that some OBGYN practices even do ultrasounds every two weeks during the third trimester to assess for fetal growth and amniotic fluid. So it is highly likely that if you're a pregnant woman that your ultrasounds may not be covered by your health insurance. Here's what you can do about it. You can appeal. All medical policies are appealable and if you are denied coverage because of medical policy, you should appeal it. With, you're going to need your doctor's help to appeal it, but you should appeal it. Guess what? You can do a first level appeal, vast majority of the time, those get denied. So when you appeal it, like you should assume your appeal is going to get denied. Then you do a second level appeal. You can even do a third level appeal. You can fight back against health insurance company medical policy and you should. Unfortunately, the safest thing for you to assume, and unless it's something like real common, like a strep throat test at like an office visit, like it should probably be assumed that your health insurance is probably not going to cover what you and your doctor want to do until proven otherwise, right? If there's 259 of these rules at United, chances are the other health insurance companies have pretty close to 259 rules. And it's highly likely that you, what you're getting done is gonna fall within those 259 rules. And it's highly likely that what you wanna get done is not gonna be covered. This is never explained to plan members. This is never explained to doctors. And anybody who works in healthcare and health insurance and employee benefits has to understand medical policy. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.